It is the kind of statistic that will certainly get a parent's attention. It comes from a tech safety company in Atlanta called Bark. It says 23% increase it has seen in the number of online predators that this company has had to report to law enforcement just since the quarantine started. Caitlin Ross talked to the chief parenting officer who says it's something every parent needs to watch very closely. It's heartbreaking and disgusting and terrifying, um, and we hope all parents, you know, and caregivers listen. Bark Chief Parenting Officer Titania Jordan says as soon as your children are old enough to use technology, they're old enough to hear about dangerous people who might try to talk to them online. You, you have to talk about these things because it absolutely can happen to your child. She says they knew there would be a rise in online predator activity when they realized how long kids would be stuck at home, but they didn't think it would be this big of an increase. Their data is supported by a recent alert by the FBI warning parents to be vigilant about screen time. Their schedules are off. They don't all have to be up and on a bus, you know, by 6 a.m. Bark uses technology to monitor messages sent to kids' devices. And Jordan says they're watching predators take advantage of the uncertainty during COVID-19. Predators know that children are anxious. They miss their friends. They are lonely. She says online predators also know that some families are struggling financially right now. A lot of games require upgrades and coins and that sort of thing. And if the economy being what it is and things are tight, that could be another tactic they use to send financial gifts and coins for upgrades. But she says that doesn't mean your kids have to be vulnerable. We as parents can do something about it. We can talk to our kids. We can let them know that if they bring something to us, our first action is it going to be to take away their access. They're not going to surface something if they think they're going to lose their ability to play games or talk with their friends. Titania says the best way to talk to your kids about this is just to be direct. Let them know there are dangerous people out there, but you're always a resource for them if they need someone to talk to. Yeah, that's a conversation we've had to have with our kids. They're spending so much more time online because of digital learning. So what's the advice for that? Should they spend less time doing that? No, but she does want parents to monitor where their kids are spending time online. So if it's a game, make sure you take advantage of those free parental controls. If there's a chat function, make sure you know who your kids are talking to. But more than anything, just letting your kids know that they can talk to you.